So today we're going to uh, teach Andrea how to do mock combustion of uh, acupuncture point called Bladder 67, and this is because her her baby's breech, and uh, the best time to do mock combustion is around starting 34 weeks, between 34 and 36 weeks, and uh, so I'm just going to show you. This is a mock combustion stick, and so. It looks like a shaped like a cigar or like a large piece of coal. It's it's a herb IA or mugwort. And to light it, you're best to use a, a candle and you just kind of hold it over the the flame like so. And it'll take a minute or two to light. So while we're lighting, I'll just give you an explanation that there there's two forms of moxa, uh, smoking moxa and smokeless moxa. And although you do see a bit of fumes right now just as we're lighting, this is the smokeless form. While as you're lighting it, you need to uh, take it off and blow. You want the whole thing glowing. So again, it will take a few minutes. A few safety issues. One is do not touch yourself with this moxa stick. Hold it above acupuncture points. We're not doing direct moxa. It's best to do it in a ventilated room, so don't do it in a small room where the windows are closed. And also, just like um, fire hazard, don't, you know, sitting in bed where there's lots of flammable sheets, you need to be very careful for fire reasons. So that's what it looks like as we start to light. And now I'm just going to switch over here and uh, show you what it will look like when it really is lit. And as it burns, it will create, develop ash at the end of it. And so to get the heat, you do need to rub it off. So that's what it'll look like when it's nice and glowing. So another safety um, aspect of it is when you're done using it, you suffocate it. And we have special moxa holders here to keep it like this when it's lit or if we want to suffocate it. We don't recommend that you um, put water over it to suffocate it because it will kill the moxa stick after a couple uses. And um, so what we recommend is you grab a mug, a coffee mug that you're not using and fill it with some dirt from your garden. Uh, and then just fill it half to three quarters way full of dirt. And when you're done using it, just stick it halfway in between to, to suffocate it. So now we're gonna do the moxa combustion demonstration on on Andrea. And so the acupuncture point to locate bladder 67 is basically um, where the base of the nail and the most ex uh, outside of the nail where it intersects. That's the, the location. Now for an acupuncture needle you want to be a little bit more accurate but for moxibustion you're basically just sticking it or pointing it um, to the outside of the baby toe which is where the point is located. And what some of the studies are suggesting, what people are doing to help turn the baby, um, again starting around 34 weeks if it's breech, is to mock combustion um, twice a day for 15 to 20 minutes at a time. And so what we suggest is you do five minutes on the outside, on one side, then switch over and you do five minutes on the other side, so we're up to 10, and then come back for the last 10 minutes and do five on this side and then again five on the other side. You usually want to create some more room for the baby so she should be in a comfortable position um, where her belly and her breathing can, can expand nicely. And so this is for the partner to do and for the mother to be to just relax and, and enjoy it. And she probably will feel some movement and kicking of the baby like right now we can see the baby moving over to her right a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so this just gets the baby active and helps, helps the baby turn. Um, and again, once you think the baby, or you know for sure the baby has turned, um, then you would stop the monk's combustion practice. You don't need to do it anymore. And what's recommended is to do it for five to seven consecutive days, twice a day for 15 to 20 minutes at a time. We recommend 20 minutes. And um, at the end of a week, take a few days off or a full five days off. And if it still hasn't turned, go for another week of monk's combustion. It should feel comfortably warm. It shouldn't feel like you're being burnt. So if you can't feel it, we can get a lot closer. And uh, if that feels too warm, you just pull it back. And again, you do it for um, 20 minutes, five minutes on one side, then five minutes, and you keep alternating until you do 20 minutes. And then later on that day, you do it again. If you find that your baby has turned and it's now in the head down position, 
then you don't need to continue doing the moxibustion therapy.